Shooting leaves one dead suspect in custody. A new hotel is planned for Plymouth. School threats under investigation. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Tuesday, September 24th, 2019. One person is dead and another is in police custody after a shooting in Sheboygan. It happened around 5 o'clock p.m. on Monday in the parking lot of the cash store on South Business Drive. Police say when they arrived, they found one person dead at the scene, and a short time later, a person was taken into custody and a gun was located. Police stress that the public is in no danger and they are expected to release more information later today. An investigation is underway after a threat was apparently made yesterday to Sheboygan Falls Middle School. Police say it all began with comments allegedly made by a student. Those comments began circulating on social media, which is when police responded. Shortly thereafter, police say they were able to determine that there was no danger to the school or to the public. According to the police, the student who made the comments was arrested and faces felony charges of making terroristic threats. Police say in Sheboygan they are still looking into three separate threats to Sheboygan South High School. The most recent one happened this past Thursday, resulting in the arrest of a 14-year-old boy. He apparently called indicating a shooter with a handgun was inside. That threat was later deemed to be false, ending a brief lockdown at the school. After further investigation, police were able to find the boy who allegedly made the call, and now they are trying to determine who else might have been in on it. They say they are also trying to figure out exactly from what location the call came from. Investigators say that they have determined that the call was intended to cause fear. However, there was never an actual threat. No gun or shooter was ever found, and this was also the case in two other similar incidents that happened earlier this month. In both cases, a threat was made to the school. In each case, the threats were determined to be pranks, and the teens were arrested. Police say they may, that they take any threat of this nature very seriously and are urging anyone with information about these incidents or others to please contact the Sheboygan police. 65 new prosecutors were recently dispersed across the state, leaving Sheboygan County with funding for one and a half new assistant district attorneys. According to State Senator David, or Devin Lemahieu, though it's disappointing. Lemahieu represents Sheboygan, Manitowoc, and Calumet counties, and say those areas need more than what was given. Last week, Governor Tony Evers' administration announced its plan to allocate 65 ADAs in Wisconsin. Due to the partial veto, the Evers administration has broad authority to determine where many of these new positions are allocated. Sheboygan and Manitowoc counties were each given funding for two new prosecutors each. Under the administration's plan, Manitowoc will only receive one new ADA. Lemmyhu says this is especially disappointing since the allocation approved by the legislature was based on a workload analysis. According to the analysis, Manitowoc County is currently staffed at 51% of the recommended level and Sheboygan County is at 62%. Milwaukee County is already more than fully staffed. A two-vehicle crash overnight in the town of Mosul may have been caused by drunk driving. According to the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department, the crash happened overnight in the southbound lane of I-43 at County Road FF. Police say a woman and a child were in the car that was hit and both were seriously injured. Another person in the car was hit suffered minor injuries and the driver of the car that was struck their vehicle suffered minor injuries as well as was arrested for an OWI. 
And finally, a tax incremental financing district in Plymouth has now been filled with approval of cobblestone branded hotel project. TIF district number four gives incentives of about $400 thousand dollars for the hotel development and covers half the cost of a traffic impact study and potential traffic improvements in the road right away. The plan commission is waiting for a, an official site plan to be submitted before final approval is given for the construction of the cobblestone hotel which would be located between pick and save and advance auto parts on Eastern Avenue. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Thursday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.